Coach Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk, and today we have Slavsky who has festooned himself in medals for this particular game. He is running the Sturve 74, which I quite liked, uh, and it made me think about, I wonder how it's doing. Well, it's not doing great, fellas. It's, it's, it's in the bottom half of Tier 6 medium tanks, but I think it's got a lot going for it. Pretty, pretty punchy little gun in terms of pen and accuracy. Not in terms of alpha. It's actually not great in alpha. What is it, 160 or something like that? Let's see what we got going on. We are, uh, we can't, hey. To, oh my gosh, all right, I got to wait till the game starts. Let's do that. We'll get the game started. We are on Erdorf Himmelsfield. Erdorf Himmelsfield, the old, the old three, what is it? The old three lane map. There is some crossfire on this map, at least. But we've got the heavy brawling area in the middle. We've got the north that's almost completely useless, other than a couple scouts will generally make it even more useless. And the south will be a peek -a boom with hold down stuff going on. But this is a tier six top tier game with sixes, fives, and fours. So frankly, anything can happen. <laughs> Let's see if it develops in any kind of way like I just said. And right off the bat, we have a heavy going to the south. We have a Panzer 5-4, pretty overpowered little tank, cruising up the hill. We have an Excelsior, we have some guys camping, and Slapsky is, uh, he was, he's, let me see, how do we say it, forward camping. We have forward camped into this spot, <laughs> waits for a potential shot on somebody crossing going up the hill, but this is tier 6, 5, and 4, so goodness knows what the rest of the teams are doing, or what the enemy team is doing, and it looks like we got the Churchill, uh oh we would have had two shots right there would have had two shots the guys are just a little slow getting there is he going to get the, ooh, ooh. Oh, I think he had that shot I think he had that shot what is this guy doing, oh he's poking he's still doing that because he hasn't been shot by somebody from the hill, but that will disabuse him of that notion, and the T1 backs, nope, nope he's coming, oh here comes another guy Oh, another guy. Here comes a bunch of fellers. <laughs> Bounce the T1, which at this tier has some pretty good armor. And our first kill. Our first kill to many kills, my friends. I told you that Slapsky has festooned himself with medals in this particular game. And it, uh sad to say, at this tier, this is the kind of thing you're going to find. It gets played strangely. Although, as I think about it, as much as we complain about the meta, it's one of the reasons why I... Uh oh I already spent for somebody there. As much as we complain about the meta, it's one of the reasons I like the mid-tiers to maybe tier 8. Sometimes, things just don't go meta-wise. Although, I suppose if you think about it, it kind of is. Because the general problem teams will run into when they start to win the heavy brawl area and push in is they get farmed. And as far as that goes, that is fairly meta. Generally, the team that pushes first on airfield, there's a couple maps like this. And overall, it's a bad idea to push into people who are farming you when there's a lot of guns left in the game. But there's a couple maps in particular where it's a superiorly, superiorly? A very bad idea, and this is one of them. We get lit, this guy's moving. We're bouncing off the decent armor of the A3, E2. That is essentially a heavy at this tier. Based on the tanks that are in this battle, that is essentially a heavy. T-67 goes after him, and Slapsky says, Oh, you guys can deal with this guy. Nope, we're heading out. Everyone's attacking him. He's bitten off more than he can chew, and down goes Spartacles. <laughs> we've lost we've lost Spartacles. Did the... <laughs> Somebody just jumped over there. We have a Hetzer Hetzing. A Hetzer is Hetzing. He just misses. Oh, the T-1 has snuck up behind snuck up behind both me and Slabsky. I did not see that. And Slabsky is in the absolute brawl and fight of his life right here. Where, where'd the Hetzer go? He just ran off. T-67, maybe Slabsky was still lit or just guessed. And he's got a little train with him. He's got some buddies. He's got a Stug 3B that's hanging out with him and a T-67. Stug 3B has had enough of this. He's going to go ahead and bail out of here and go find someplace else a little safer. And it looks like maybe Slapsky has decided to do the same thing. The brawl down in the south has been completely lost by our heroes team. The greens have given up 
a lot of ground down there. And here comes the BDR G1B. That's a pretty scary tank in this particular match. It is a tier down from Slabsky, but has a really nice alpha for that tier. Some decent armor as well. We also got the T28EF30 with the big derp gun, so we got to watch out for that fella. Slapsky goes back to the cap, and he's going to use these rocks and bushes in here to start defending again against people pushing in. The erg one b is a problem, though. He's going to come up behind us here in a momento, I think. Looks like our TD is bailing out. Yep, the Su-85B does not want to face the G1B himself, so he bails, heads to the north end. We are starting to see, do we get lit right there? Probably, yes. Unfortunately, we can expect a Hummel shot at any moment, unless he's on a reload. And we are just losing ground, and this is the problem with the co continual fallback situation, is once you get into this small a piece of the map, and there are enough guns around, you get into these crossfires that are very difficult to win from. Slapsky, I don't think he's fired any of his gold. He's got 12 APCR. Well, I've seen the result of this, so this will be interesting how he handles this BDR. Is the guy even looking at us? I think he is. Oh, he picks a little chunk of that giant hatch, and the BDR knows it. He hates life right now. He takes a hit. We do get hit, so we get the big 230, but he just does not reload it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> Wow, I thought that was the end of the BDR. We're going to get the hatch. Oh, no. Hey, fellas, can you keep it down? I'm trying to make a video here. Let's put it in idle for a sec. Thank you. All right. Uh, where are we? The T-28's moving, and we have a Matilda. We have a Matilda. A Matilda, which is very slow. There's a Su-85i. Now, this is the part of the game where Campalama Ding Dangs start to get a little more active if they start to believe that their team is doing well. So you can't assume at about this point in the game that the TDs will be sitting where they were. Generally I do that for most of the game. But he does have to be careful in case that Su-85i decides to come out. He's got the Su-85b who has moved back into this position. Once he cleared out the big mean BDR, this guy came scurrying back. Oh, now we're going to jam ourselves in where he is. Hey man, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> trying to get shots, man. Okay. Let me see if I can bump into you while you're shooting. I like this. Start knocking this down. This is a very fast reloading gun. The more he can knock down some of this stuff, he can maybe start to get shots with his uh, Sue buddy, which that guy should also be shooting. I don't know if he is. The M4A1 is the one on cap. There's the 85i. So he has moved up a bit. We're looking for a shot on him. Oh, he's got that guy lit. There he is. Go shoot him. No? Okay. Looks like we're going to get up onto the cap. So he's got some pretty good SA in terms of where they are. We have five kills, festooning ourselves in medals. Finally, the TD takes a shot right there. The T-67's in big trouble, but he is going to get a flank, maybe. Can he kill that guy? No. Oh, we got one. All right, so we've taken a shot on the A1. These things are dangerous, actually. They really are. These are actually pretty good, these prototype uh, Shermans are really nice and we kill him off nicely done still haven't dabbed two but it looks like we may get into the numero two we have six kills already I guess already went after our Su-85 he may he may come to regret that we're at 193 hit points we can take a couple hits oof wow okay the AP 170 we can take a couple hits we could have taken a couple hits from the Matilda. We took a fairly big hit from the T28F3. This thing is not very accurate. Oh, we get a little lucky. I think I'd have pushed right up and taken the, taken him out because he's on a reload. That's all right. We are going to get him with the Su-85B. We're at six kills for Slapsky. We're just a whisper of a splash from dying to the Hummel. And the Matilda fires so fast, plus at 20 hit points unless we bounce it somehow and then his reload is so fast so uh oh this guy's a lot of hit points he really does did we did we get a light we did not get lit oh we missed and we're gonna I thought we're gonna push in oh no we've been lit how do we live from this my friends 20 hit points there's a Matilda there's an artillery I wonder if the artillery is out of 
ammo. I would have expected the shot to have come in already. Slapsky's backing out. He's lit again. The TD is taking the shots. Hopefully the TD can... There we go. He's softening him up a little bit. That made him think twice about doing that. And we've pushed the Matilda back. Very nice. Slapsky's being very careful with his 20 hit points. We do not have many hit points. We can't take a splash. No artillery shots. I, he was either moving or out of ammo. Another jet coming. Here comes another one. It's going to get loud again. Trying to figure out what to do. We have six kills. That gives us Top Gun. We're not done yet. Here they come again. Come on, fellas. There we go. Matilda has maybe bailed out of that position. No, oh, he's still right there. And we're lit again. The Su 85B says, I have hit points. Let me help. And here he comes. Oh, the Matilda missed. And we're just doing the pixel snipe. He bounced the shot from the Matilda. Oh. <laughs> wow. And we kill him off. We have seven kills, and now it is just an arty hunt. I think the arty's out of ammo. I don't know how many shots the Hummel has. Or maybe he's AFK. Perhaps we'll find him. He does have a kill, so he did play some of it. Well, there we go. He is moving around. A little chunk of that. We're firing HE, so we get a nice hit out of, of 180 from that. Shoot into the rock. Don't quite get to him. Probably need to move angles a bit. I think if you cut right, you might be able to catch the right side of him. Maybe, maybe not. Almost trying to hide behind a rock. TD is missing. A couple of pixels. I think I'd cut a little further right, maybe. No, we're just going to come up here, get a nice hold down position. And get a shot on this guy. He's going to have a hard time hitting us. A little HE action. And there he is right into the upper superstructure. Very thin. 155 damage. Eighth kill for Slabsky. Top tier. Top tier. Sturb 74. Quite a nice little tank. You see the firepower this thing has. Absolutely can send some rounds down range. He ends up with only 10 rounds left in that game 2315 damage 379 assists and eight kills man eight kills <laughs> yeah i wonder if that hummel was out of out of ammo something weird was going on because the shells stopped raining down thanks for sending that in man so that's the old radley's walters trick on himmel's airfield dwarf appreciate you guys checking out the video congratulations to slapsky on the radley walters that's all we've got today thanks for your support we will see ya